Hello students, once again welcome to Bholanath Academy. In organometallic chemistry students, we are going to see the third type of organometallic compound that is called as Bs, eta raised to 3 allyl nickel complex. This is the, this way we are showing the complex students, nickel complex of allyl. Now how you are going to prepare this complex students? The first preparation, this allyl complex of nickel is prepared by action of allyl Grignard reagent. We are going to take, this is the allyl and magnesium bromide. Allyl magnesium bromide is called as what? Allyl Grignard reagent. These two molecules of allyl Grignard reagent react with the nickel chloride. In presence of ether, you are getting what? Bis allyl nickel complex. This is bis, bis Y because there is two molecules of C3H5 are donating. All the three electrons, all the three carbons are participating in the bonding. That is why it is called as eta is to 3. That is, it is triheptoligand. Allyl is what? Triheptoligand. That is, all the three carbon atom of alleles are involved in the bonding with the nickel understanding so here how many molecules of allyl students two molecules of allyl molecules are forming the bond with the nickel and they are forming the complex and after that you are getting magnesium bromide and magnesium chloride so this will be our organometallic compound this way we can prepare students now when you are going to see the structure students in first the allyl group c3h5 is called as allyl can behave as a monohepto one electron donor ligand as well as trihepto three electron donor ligand. Now here students it will behave as a trihepto three electron donor ligand. Understanding students? Now here allyl will behave as a what? Trihepto three electron donor ligand. In this allyl complex of nickel students C3H5 that is the ligand act as a trihepto three electron donor ligand. The structure of nickel that is tri uh, dihepto ligand students trihepto this is the nickel complex with the allyl students appears as follows. When you see the structure of the complex students, it will be appear like this. This is the nickel students. Now nickel will be sandwiched between these two allyl. All the three carbons are participating in the bonding students. So this is the structure students. Nickel will be sandwiched between these two allyl. Now this is the structure of this way you can represent. Now when you are talking about the bonding students in nickel complex students, now what happens atomic number of nickel you should know atomic number of nickel is 28 now organ 18 3d8 4h2 4p0 understanding students so this is the ground state electronic combination of nickel 28 so 3d8 eight electrons are first you have to fill singly then the pairing will take place and 4h2 will be like this 4p there is no electrons so all will be what vacant understanding that means here you have two unpaired electrons understanding students nickel as ground state electronic combination now nickel atom is a short of sandwiched between two allyl group which are forming a short of staggered configuration Stag staggered configuration students you are knowing the three carbon atom of each allyl group are equidistant from nickel atom that we have already seen in the structure each allyl group has three pi orbital combined to form three molecular orbitals these are the psi 1 psi 2 psi 3 understanding all the three carbons are combined and they are forming the molecular orbitals of allyl that is psi 1 psi 2 psi 3 these three molecular orbitals overlap with the metal orbitals understanding with the metal orbital how it is overlapping students this the psi 1 molecular orbitals overlap with the s orbital pz orbitals and dz square orbital of the metals this overlap result in the formation of ligand to metal bond the psi 2 molecular orbitals overlap with the py orbitals and dz orbitals of the metal. These overlap also result in a ligand to metal bond. Understanding students? Now what happens students? The psi 3 molecular orbitals overlap with the px and dxz orbitals of the metal. This overlap result in the formation of metal to ligand bond that is back donation of the electron from medium. This will stabilize the structure. So these are the bonding we have seen students. These are very important for the examination point of view. If you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day take care of yourself god bless you students